Well, I'm Tori Necklace. I was born and raised in Cleveland. Um, my father came in from South Dakota for a protest and a runner's march, and he's an advocate for natives. And my mom was brought down from Canada from, with her mom, with the like relocation. Um, she was on and off raised here. My dad came up over when he was older, way older. But, uh, and I have three children. We practice our culture with them since they've been born. Well, not last year due to COVID. We usually go to South Dakota to visit relatives. But um, yeah, I've always, my parents have always been like real big advocates for the native community since I was born. I was at the, the Wahoo protest when I was younger. Um, I hate to say it that like, as I got older, I, did, I didn't want to be down there. Um, just, I, I feel that the people that were going down there didn't want to be educated. They wanted more of an argument. You know, the, if it's anything, they would need to learn it from home, just like they learned that the Wahoo character troop was, was so great for them, but it wasn't so great for us. I grew up with, I don't want to say a lot of racism, but I had it, and it just, it doesn't really affect me now. Like, I was called Wahoo when I was younger, and, like, my nickname that my grandma gave me is Waboos, which means rabbit. But people would hear my, my family calling me that and they would call me Wahoo because it sounded the same, I guess. My mom and my dad were so used to it. They just brush it off your shoulders. You know who you are. And us as individuals, we all know who we are here. And we're your doctors, we're your lawyers, we're your children. We're not not the, the um, back in the day Plains natives that just talk like a caveman, I guess. We're... Every, like everybody else, it's just we have a harder time being seen because we're being pushed back with that. We still practice our culture. We, we speak our language the, enough that I know my husband's more fluent than I am. But he was actually born in South Dakota. But I'm really happy to have met him because it just helps me be more enriched with our children. But like their name, necklace, like it's a it's, it's a big thing. Our, our last names uh are very in, in, you know, in tied with our with our culture. And no matter if we are your doctors, if we are your teachers, if we are your children, you know, we're kind of we're different because of our last names. Like my last name is Necklace. It, it used to be Iron Necklace. My maiden name was Handboy. It's that we're always seen, but we're never like we're never heard. Now children won't be raised going through stores and seeing Wahoo and seeing the red character. And my children won't have to see that either. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's truly amazing to see that, uh, all different nations are getting the recognition that they deserve and we're almost there. We're always working for it.